Okay, so the whole thing with the uh, mailing list thread is getting kind of silly, so just decided to, well, um, make a short video about the problem. First, let's uninstall Rails installer from this virtual machine. Just to make sure that we're uh, running a fresh version of Rails installer. And let's go overboard and delete Rails installer as well as well I guess the sites doesn't sites folder has been already been deleted uh, beforehand in an earlier take anyway so let's just first let's check the path and let's check the com spec so as you see I intentionally fucked up the com, com spec because I think uh, the, an old version of AMP server manipulates the com spec instead of the path. Uh, the current version, the current version I downloaded didn't modify the com spec so I had to intentionally modify the com spec uh, to point to the PHP directory. Anyway, uh, let's proceed with the installation. So this is going to take about 30-40 seconds and yes I'm not planning to I'm not planning to fake an American accent here I'm going to use my slightly accented Filipino accent because you know, I'm not paid to do this. <laughs> anyway a bit of a spoiler the problem is with the com spec I, you're going to have to modify the com spec in order for things to work. I guess we're just going to fix that with the magic of Anyway, that side comment was uh, because Cam Studio hanged on, hung on me. Anyway, so we're going to run the initialization thing. And you're supposed to see something weird happening here. Yeah, the get CPOEM. I think that's the problem. Uh, well, that's a symptom of the problem. So if you're going to try Rails new... Um, Rails installer demo. It's going to try to bundle install, but uh, instead of properly installing, it's going to fail. JSON. So there, um, yeah, so there, you'd see the problem that we've been trying to fix for the past few days, the error build, failed to build gem native extension, blah 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 blah. So how do you fix this? Well, again we could just simply fix the comp spec. Right click computer properties advanced system settings and change the environment variable. Edit the comp spec and remove the freaking line. Okay, okay. So let's start the yeah, rails LCD rails installer demo and hello. Or bundle install, but everyone knows bundle and bundle are pretty much the same thing. Let's fix this prompt to make it look cuter. Um, yeah, console is one of my favorite fonts. So there.
JSON is properly installed as suggested by Luis and suggested by everyone else in the thread well that's installing let's install something something else um, Install Sublime Text again. There's a reason why most of us use um, text editors. I mean, it's just text, simple text editors for beginners, simply because you don't need the advanced features of uh, those other Rails S Rails. Or don't need really need those advanced features unless you're knee deep into Rails, knee deep into Ruby you're learning Ruby you'll have to appreciate the fact that you don't need to um, you don't need to do some crazy things other IDEs need to do so like compiling linking and all that but since you're running Ruby it's an interpreted dynamic language you don't need all those things yet so yeah there's our um, web brick starting, and let's go. Uh, who cares? I don't use this. DP for host 3000. So, yeah, it's running, and you could see in the properties that it's running Rails installer demo. So just to follow up with the video, let's control C to end the server, terminating batch job. So Rails generate controller. That's the name of the controller. It should be the same one in the routes. So welcome and index. Let's uncomment now. Let's wait for the script to finish because they're go it's going to add as another line to the root routes that are B. Yeah, it's it added the welcome that index. Then we're going to remove the comment, saving it, and go to the apps. Well, the controllers there. That's a controller, but what we need is the index so we're going to replace all of this and uh, do the Rails installer demo three exclamation points is that done Rails yes So Rails says, again, if you refresh this page, it's going to still be the welcome aboard. And you're going to have to delete the public index HTML. And once deleted, SF5, now we just follow the demo. Now to double check. Uh, we're going to clone Christie's. Um, let's just clone Christie's. Um, get get project is a repository, so it's going to delete the file, delete the folder. Then we're going to clone the repo. Just copy this one. And uh, 
well let's just use sublime text again hopefully it's still Rails installer demo so it's a different Rails installer demo so this is the repo you see that just uncommented it replaced it by space uh, as opposed to what I did with my copy and the views welcome index Rails and Rails is always the same CD Rails installer demo and uh, Rails yes, Rails server. As you can't find active support 3.2.1 because I think he, she installed Rails 3.2, but it's no problem. Just install everything using Bundler. So with the magic of video editing, I removed, <laughs> I edited out that boring part where Bundler loads up and checks the Ruby gems and org and checks everything. Anyway, so it's installing everything again. Yeah, it's installing Rails 3.2, I guess. So there it goes. Reels us. And again, we could see that the problem lies with the problem she encountered, or he, or whatever. Uh, it's just a problem with the comp spec. So there. Welcome to the Rails Installer demo. And again, the problem is mostly just because the setting for the com spec has that CWAMP bin PHP PHP 3 5.3.4. Anyway, I guess that's it. Um, just post some follow-up comments on this thread and not on this YouTube video.